James, let us know what's going on in our other games here at the Classic. Well, Clef the God taking on Kwani. Clef was very methodical in the first quarter. It was 0-0. He took that drive and just took it all the way into the second quarter. Scored that Watson quarterback keeper. That is now set, it made it 7-0. The score now 10-3, except it looked like Kwani just punched one in to tie it up. 10-10. Nick Mazesco lights out on the call. Take it away. You know, lights, when we looked back at Clef right there, he didn't look quite as loose as he was earlier in the day. He is locked in because he knows a loss here. It doesn't matter how hot he was coming into this tournament, he's going home. Yep. You lose, you are out. It is a wrap. So the pressure is definitely on him. And he's going against a super annoying offense in the Panther Heavy with Kwani. Toss underneath. Deshaun Watson, 8 of 11, 97 yards. Two contrasting styles of play. You're going to see Clef airing it out with this Texans offense. Kwani with the Lamar Jackson Panther heavy as Watson out of the pocket. He'll throw this one away. Great defense. Clef was trying to utilize the escape artist to roll out to the right. Kwani was ready for it. Nick, don't you love the fact that right here we're seeing four different teams, Patriots, Eagles, Ravens, Texans, Beautiful. And none of them are Cowboys. And right here, that's Lamar Miller. He's off to the races inside the 20, trying to get the little hesitation move, but he will take it all the way down inside the red zone. Lamar Miller showing off the wheels. Great play by Clef. You can tell he's locked in right here. Watson. First and 10, quick throw to the flat. That's Duke Johnson, the former Cleveland Brown, picking up a couple. I like how Clef is, is moving pretty quick, too, with this right here now going to eye for him. But I feel like it's pretty much not giving Kwani any time to set up. Oh, look at Lamar Miller. He doesn't have arm bar, but right there, that was a pretty good stiff arm as he's down to the two yard line. And Clef the God, man, sometimes it does take just one loss to refocus you up. Not saying he wasn't focused, but. Man, when Clef's locked in, he's as tough as anybody to beat. Yeah, I think the same thing with Joke. Joke took the first loss, and you just seen a whole different side of him. Easy. Into the end zone. Clef the God goes up by six. Let's see if he has Panther heavy defense. It's the fan favorite back home. I know everybody in the chat loves seeing that Lamar Jackson. The Let me know in the Panther. chat. Let me just ask in the chat, which one you would rather have? Give me a one. Panther heavy with Lamar. Right, Give me a two, I form tight with Zeke. <laughs> Which one would you rather have? Give well, me a three if you're turning off the game at that point. What about Wildcat with Dorset? Wildcat Dorset gets the three. <laughs> I think I want the I form tight though. I form tight's a little bit more realistic, right? It's a grown man's just ground and pound. Panther heavy, I mean, Lamar Jackson realistically can't keep taking these hits, but he does have the fast break ability, which is really causing him to be able to run to the left, to the middle, to the right, without the defense reacting right away. Not a lot of quarterbacks have this ability, only him and Cam Newton. Second and six for Kwani. Not a whole lot there. Clef trying to find that run defense to stop Lamar Jackson and the Baltimore Ravens. Third and six, this is still a rundown. He can still definitely run the ball here. Third and 19 is still a rundown with this Panther heavy offense. Third and six, as we're near the end of the third quarter. Oh, uh, Lamar's throwing it. He has a man right side. That's an easy pitch and catch, I believe. That is the tight end to the 39-yard line, Andrews. They've got two great tight ends in Andrews and Hurst, both athletic guys that can get off the line and catch some of those short routes. Exactly. That's one of the biggest reasons why they're able to run this formation, because they have good tight ends. It's going to be Lamar. Nowhere to go. Fours up in the chat. We're headed to the fourth quarter. The one score game, Clef the God on top, but Kwani with the ball. Nick, if I'm Kwani here, I'm milking this entire quarter, scoring and going for two. Especially with that Panther heavy. That's the only game plan. Clef is way too good. If he gets the ball back, he's scoring. You have to just, unless you're gonna get like a 70 yard touchdown, you have to milk this clock. And that's where when you're playing guys like Clef, uh, Joe Rice, the guys, even a guy like Joke with that Eagles offense. Panther heavy works because it, sh it lessens the, the number of possessions that the other guy is going to have. Doesn't give him the opportunity to hit those big plays. Exactly. Third and two, and Lamar's going to be throwing it. He looks underneath. It's not going to pick up a first down, though. 
And how about a fourth and two now? And I think I know what's coming. That was tremendous defense, especially on a rundown situation. I was very surprised that he had every single route covered there. So we appreciate you guys hanging out with us. Happy weekend, happy Saturday. So much going on here in the Arlington area, but we are here for the Madden NFL 20 Classic from the Arlington Esports Stadium. Lamar Jackson oh, ah, left the guard with the big tackle in the hole, and we're going the other way. There's the run defense Clef has been looking for. Now, if you're Clef, you have the lead, you have the ball almost in field goal range or just about field goal range. Do you now try to also milk the clock here? Yes, especially with under four minutes to go in the fourth quarter. These runoffs, it makes the game so short. It is, I mean, a field goal, you're basically, especially going up against the Panther heavy. Exactly. I think that's something that we learned from Skimbo when he played Ooh. two more. When Skimbo played Timor, he shortened down. Even if he doesn't finish this whole game, if he cuts it to like one minute left, what is Kwane going to do in Heavy Panther with only one minute down more than one possession? And especially with looking at the option of, would I rather be up by 10 with a buck 30 to go or up by 14 with True. 225? 10. I'll take the time off. Yep. And off right side, that's Duke Johnson to the 28 yard line. Let that clock drip. I form twin tight end. You got the halfback dive. You got the stretch with the RPO slant. I feel like that's going to come soon. A little RPO slant. And here's the interesting part with the double elimination lights is now you get an opportunity where, listen, everybody wants to win every game, and in a perfect world, you just sweep the tournament. But if you do take that loss, you have now faced a little adversity that can make you a little tougher for games today going into tomorrow. 100%. You ride momentum. You. Like, like Pavin, for example, he had two disqualifiers. He, he didn't play one game. And then the second day, he lost both of his games. It, sometimes it's better to lose and then just go on a tear. Because at least you get play. hot. Yep, you, get, you, you just literally get hot. And you start feeling unstoppable. And we saw Clef. Clef was blowing through opponents left and right as Duke Johnson. Good decision. Or Lamar Miller, excuse me. He's going to go down. And that's going to be yeah. GG's in the chat. Kwani knows when it's over. Buck six to go. Cleft the God three yards out. And he moves on. He staves off elimination and gets the top 16. It's a big win for him. Huge win for him. It's always annoying to play against the Heavy Panther. All you need is that one stop. Cleft got it done. Moves go. on to the next stage. What do we got right here? Let's head back. It's Lawrence and Joke. And this game not over yet. Joke. Stormed out to an early lead. Lawrence been able to keep it close. 28 to 10 and a stop here. I know it's an 18 point game, but you get a stop, you get a quick score, you're back to two score game. It's not over until there's zeros on the clock. He's gonna need some help. He's gonna need a quick score. He's gonna need Joke to mess up somehow. But I think, you know, knowing Joke for so long, I feel like the reason why he's punting here, as soon as he gets the ball back, even if uh, Lawrence scores, he's just gonna make sure Lawrence doesn't have that ball back. He's going to waste the clock. So let's see what Lawrence has figured out offensively in the second half. It was all joke early. But Lawrence has been able to fight back and stay in this game with that New England Patriots offense. Shotgun spread. Brady on first and 10 finds James White. Trying to get out of bounds, but a good tackle to keep him inbounds by joke. This clock continues to run. Screamer left side, down goes Brady. Three sacks for Jones, and that's not even talking about what Fletcher Cox has done in the middle of that defensive line. It's just so hard when you're in a spread set against this defense. All Joe has to do is blitz the opposite side of the running back, and Lawrence Art isn't going to be able to block it, as you see right side of pressure. And it's a quick pass to Dorsett, and if you're Joke, you are completely happy watching him go for three yard passes. Yep, I feel like he's going to continuously do this. Running back's left, blitz right side, have coverage everywhere else, keep him in bounds. Fourth down, even if he gets the first down, Joke wants that clock to just keep running. Fourth and 11, Lawrence trying to stay alive. Waiting, looking, oh, taking a God. shot, one on one, tipped. And that's going to be GG's in the chat. 2.04 to go, it's a three score game, and it looks like the back to back Browns Club champion, the man looking for his first belt. Echo Fox Joke is going to be on to the top 16. Are you getting a slight feeling that it's going to be Clef first Joke in the loser's bracket finals? 
Can I, I think that would can be. Can I stay here for that one? Yeah, that's gonna be amazing if that happens. Both of them want the belt. They're just as hungry as each other to win this. I don't know who would win that game, honestly. I still got a, a little bit to get through on the loser side of the bracket. And don't forget, there's still a whole winner's side of the bracket. So, still plenty of players looking for that belt here. And the Madden NFL 20 Classic, run right side. Lawrence is, looks like he's playing to the final whistle. He knows it's an elimination game, and it's been his last chance to play on the main stage. So, might as well enjoy the time while you have it. Yeah. Joke actually put in Jordan Howard just to, to wrap up the game because he has like 97 carry or 96 hey, carry. He ain't fumbling. Yeah, yeah, He's not going to fumble. Bro, Boston Scott Somebody might be better. That's the best part about Madden, by the way, is watching the handshakes afterwards yeah. as GG's in the chat. Joke with the 28 to 10 win. What a phenomenal.